Binance is essentially going to be taking over the world soon, and I'm going to be showing you why I think so. Now, my name is Hunter. I make videos all about crypto, so if you're interested in the space, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. If you're on Library, give me a follow there as well, but make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you don't miss out on anything. We're going through a lot of stuff uh, on Binance today. So most people, most people know Binance as a crypto exchange, uh, mainly the, uh, the base one that they have here, Binance.com. Now, the owner of Binance.com itself, or Binance actually, is CZ, Cheng Peng Zhao. Hopefully I said your name correctly. Um, pretty cool guy. Uh, he, as you can see here, his account was made in August 2017, right in the midst of that bull market, uh, of, of, of the last crypto bull market, really. Um, and I personally, I like his personality. I think he's a pretty funny guy. Uh, but as, as well, he's very uh, innovative and um, hungry, if that makes sense. And you'll kind of see why I think so. Uh, now, as I mentioned, they have a regular Binance exchange, which most people, I'm sure, have an account on. If you're if you're in the U.S., you can't have a, a regular Binance account. They actually have a U.S.-based exchange, uh, so you can go to Binance.us and make an account there. Uh, and essentially, it's the same thing, but so much less. <laughs> the U.S. account is on a U.S. exchange is honestly not as good, just because laws prevent. Binance and any other exchange really uh, from providing a lot of uh, resources. So like you'll see that some of the stuff we go into, a lot of the stuff that, that I'll be talking about is mainly for the regular exchange, not the US one. But it's still a solid exchange to use if you don't have uh, an account in any other one. And then they also have a DEX, a decentralized exchange, which I'm sure most people didn't even realize. Uh, this is, they actually have it built on their Binance Smart Chain, which is essentially kind of like Ethereum, where Ethereum has their own uh, well, Ethereum itself is an actual uh, platform, and now they have their own Binance one, which, and my, and by the way, I mean, come on, bro. You couldn't have made it look any any different. This shit looks exactly like uh, Etherscan. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I like the consistency, though. I like the consistency. Uh, so, as you can see, they, they already have, they have three different types of exchanges. Uh, and, you know, you it's kind of interesting because they would kind of, well, the decentralized exchange and the centralized one, you would think, kind of go uh, against each other. But I think there's different types of people for each one, to be honest with you. I don't think just because you have one doesn't mean you're not going to use another one. Uh, so I think it was a good move there. They're just trying to reach as many people as possible. And I think that's what the main point of this video is today, that you'll see that these guys, like, their reach is incredible. Like, they hit so many different t uh, fields of crypto that it's, it's pretty insane what they do. So... The first thing we're actually going to be uh, looking at is, again, their regular exchange. Now, you'll see here that they offer uh, derivatives with up to 125, 125x leverage. Um, meaning that, for example, let's say you want to go ahead and throw in 100 bucks, You can literally control about $125,000 worth of crypto with it. I would go ahead and be very careful if you were going to, go, if you were going to leverage trade. Personally, I would recommend not doing it, but... If you want to be risky, then go ahead. Uh, but the point is that they offer leverage trading. They also offer a stake. They also staking. So if you want to, if you don't want to host a node on your own computer for a certain coin, let's say Anchor maybe, or uh, let's say Sia coin or uh, Red coin, you can go ahead and stake on here. Uh, I don't know if those specific coins you can stake here, but you can stake other coins similar to those on here. Uh, you can you can have almost like a savings account here, pretty much, where you you hold like uh, Binance coin. Uh, or BUSD, I think is what it's called, as you can, actually it's not there, but BUSD or whatever, you'll get like 4% uh, APY on it. They have a pool, so if you want to mine crypto, you can mine through their pool. They have their own Visa card. Oh, we'll go into the Visa card later on, but uh, as you can see, they have a lot of different, you know, uh, options here for just pretty much anyone who wants to get into crypto um, through any means. So you don't have to invest money in the exchange to really be part of Binance.com or Binance itself which is very interesting. Uh, the next thing I wanted to look at is the info section that they have, or research. Uh, so you'll see here, and this is, I'm just showing this one as an example, Ravencoin. These guys literally do like research on specific coins and will like, you know, pretty much outline what the coin is, the pricing, um, and more or less like a little bit more of their ideas on like what it is and, you know, uh, what in, it's, it's, what's an intended purpose is at the end of the day. Uh, and it's pretty cool because they, they definitely have a, they have a lot more different products that they do research on uh, and gives you a good analysis of the actual coin itself, especially if you're not familiar with like, you know, what, what it actually is. So you'll see they actually have a lot of different ones, especially I think this would especially be useful for people who are just getting into DeFi. If you're not sure what certain coins do, it's like Swerve or Cream 
or wing. I don't know. I, I, honestly, I don't know what any of these things are. It's wherever I, I've heard of, but you know what I mean? So like, this would be a good place to go ahead and take a look and just learn more about it, essentially. So Binance, research.binance is, I think is also a really interesting um, little segment of Binance itself. The next thing is the Visa card I wanted to talk about. So Visa cards and crypto are very, it's like a love and hate relationship with me personally. I remember in 2017, that was like one of the bullish news you could have for a project is telling people that you had a Visa card. Um, back then it was all BS because no one, no, no project partnered with Visa at all. But they, whenever they would announce that, uh, a certain project would announce it, that's when I'd be like, all right, I'm selling my coins. They're bullshitting. <laughs> Binance, on the other hand, they're not. They actually already have a Visa card, uh, and you can actually use it today. Uh, the cool thing, actually, I noticed, I think it was literally today that they announced it. Um, if you have, I think this, they, they might have just mentioned it again. But if, you have, if you're holding a certain amount of BNB uh, coins, then you can literally uh, get 8% back uh, from that Visa card that they have. 8% back, bro. 8%. That's nuts. That's that's crazy. Uh, so to me, that's that's really awesome that they have their own Visa card. I'm in the U.S., so I can't use it, sadly. Uh, obviously, I, I would be if I could, but I can't. Uh, but if you are in Europe or if you are in any, any of these different countries that they have below here, I would definitely recommend maybe trying it out, dude. I mean, 8% is crazy. Again, you do have to have a certain amount of BNB to actually get that 8%, but it means if you have, if you have that much, then it's worth it, 100%. The next thing I wanted to look at is a token launch platform and startup incubator that they have. So this will this is the startup incubator. So this is amazing, Binance Labs. So I'll kind of give you like a little blurb here. Uh, it's essentially the venture arm for Binance. It's established to incubate, invest, and empower blockchain and cryptocurrency entrepreneurs and communities. Fire. So essentially, it's to support industry projects and help them grow with the with the uh, of course crypto ecosystem. You know. And essentially, like, I, I don't want to say companies that are doing that, that are doing that, that are doing um, projects, but like it, it can include companies, I'm pretty sure. Right. So it could be stuff like even like uh, YFI was or Uniswap was right. Well, Uniswap is, is technically a company, but, uh, you know, like different projects that people have too would, would work. Right. They, they, they either you can either apply for incubation where I guess they would actually help you with a uh, like in terms of like actually starting up yourself as like, a, as like a group or they can even invest into you as well apply for a direct invest uh so it's it's so cool how they have this i didn't know that they even really did this right they have representatives from you know over here in africa latin america europe no one from the u.s sadly um if you want cz i'm your boy come on baby it's me no no i'm playing i'm playing you would allow me on that but um, I, I thought I think that's awesome, man. Like, like that. That's that's one of the themes I find with Binance is that they're always looking to give back um, to a certain extent. Like to me, like this is giving back, bro. Like empowering people, especially in the crypto space, because of how small it is currently, and because of how much innovation there is left to be had. Uh, it's it's perfect to me. It's just perfect. The next thing, well, actually, well. I, I, mean, I did want to mention, by the way, that they do have the uh, launch pad here as well. So you can launch your own token uh, through Binance as well. I mean, just like Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, it's just kind of the same thing. But the launch pad itself is, is kind of like an ICO type of thing, kind of deal, where you can actually launch your, launch your, launch your own token, like literally visibly through here, and they'll kind of sponsor it to a certain extent. So that's also um, an option there as well, especially, again, that kind of just goes in line with being more of like the on the entrepreneurial side of things in terms of making projects and coins. So those, those two go hand in hand. This next thing, which I love, this is one of my, this is my favorite one. That's why I saved it for the last is a charity that they have. And it's again, this is cool because they have this like legitimately on the website. Um, let me see, actually, where is it? Oh, hold on. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> oh my God. I just made myself look bad. I get charity, <laughs> charity. So, as you can see, uh, they have different types of charities that they contribute to. Where if you know if you want to donate, they'll match it. You know if you know they're literally doing it for disaster victims, to feed children, um, and they all do it on the blockchain. So it's transparent. I'm gonna cry, bro. I'm gonna cry, bro. B Z sorry C Z is a beast, bro. And Binance, dude. This, this went up by a Bitcoin. By the way, this went up by a Bitcoin. Literally, I saw that go up. I was, when I was looking at that earlier, it was 1032. But anyways, that's a lot. Holy shit. But um, as you can see, they got a couple of, uh, you know, charities here. Uh, main one was a Crypto Against COVID one. Uh, that's the one I remember him mentioning. 
Um, and, as, and as we can see here, they have one for Brute. Hopefully I said that correctly. But with that being said, man, Binance is fire, bro. Currently, um, <laughs> if you look at Coin Market Cap, and you'll see why I'm laughing in a minute, uh, they are the top exchange in terms of web traffic factor, but they're even the top in terms of volume uh, for 24 hours, that is. So that could change day by day. But they're essentially one of the top exchanges to exist in, in the crypto space. Um, I remember when they were first coming out in 2017. I was using Bitrix at the time uh, before they banned American users. Um, and then I had to switch over to Binance. So good stuff. But yeah, Binance is sitting at seven. Oh my God. Top seven, bro. I wouldn't be surprised to see that a little bit higher. I don't know why Polkadot's higher than that. Sorry for all my polka, polka daughters out there, but mm, I don't know about that. Mm, I don't know. And they also plan on potentially, um, potentially getting a acquiring a traditional bank, which I think uh, Kraken actually just did the other day, uh, Kraken Exchange here in the U.S. But I'm pretty sure Binance is looking to do that. I think they, I was looking for articles because I thought they had already done it, but I could be wrong. So if they have, if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I just didn't see that uh, available. So. With that being said, oh, I did want to mention the last thing is that <laughs> why I think they'll be a superpower is because if they're not going to build it themselves, they're going to buy it, bro. First of all, these guys are hiring shitloads of people, developers and support people. Support too, mind you, support. They're hiring a lot of support and like not really tech tech related stuff. Why? Because they know the consumer is important, bro. They want to make sure the consumer is comfortable with their products. So they need to hire people that are able to explain or to help the consumer when they have problems. Mm, genius, bro. But they essentially own CoinMarketCap. They bought CoinMarketCap a little while ago. That's why I said it's not too surprising to see Binance as the first exchange. Uh, they also own Trust Wallet, which is a pretty much a crypto wallet on your phone. And the, actually, it's only on your phone. Uh, but... It was pretty solid. Honestly, I didn't even know they had it until my friend told me, uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> and they also have uh, Swipe, which is a, this is a crypto credit card co company as well. Um, again, they have their own Binance card now as well. So I guess I don't know what the point of that was, but maybe they integrated it too. I don't know, but they, they, they have acquired a good amount of uh, different companies. Um, they might even have more. I just couldn't find an official list anywhere. Uh, but just the fact that they own these three and CoinMicroCap alone is, is, is huge. Um, this is pretty much where everyone goes to check prices for a coin. So <laughs> impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, but with that being said, man, shouts out to ZZ. CZ. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick video because I don't know. I, I, I've, I've always admired how Binance and CZ carries themselves. Uh, again, you know, like kind of a quirky kind of guy. He's very down to earth. Um, when he makes mistakes, he's, he's open to like, he's open, he's, he's open to admitting to them. And, and uh, you know, kind of backtracking, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, making them okay, right? Uh, like, I, even before when, he essentially, when there was a whole big deal with Justin Sun and him taking the Steam tokens on Binance and having them delegated to what Justin Sun wanted to do, um, you know, he, he essentially asked the community what, what they thought was the right thing to do. They pretty much ruled that he fucked up, and he, you know, he admitted to it. And he, you know, and he went back on it. So to me, like shouts out to shouts out to, to that dude. Humility is so important. Um, again, attitude is fire, uh, and I hope to see him killing it in the future, bro. Because um, as far as I'm concerned, like to me, any crypto company that does good, especially Binance, um, and advertises as much as they do, is just good for the whole crypto sphere in general, right? To me, like you're not really competing with anyone in crypto right now. It's, the space is so small that just like having one exchange or one person doing really good is good for everybody. That's the way I see it. Uh, so it's great. It's great to see that he's killing it out here. And I hope to see you. Uh, I want to see what happens in the, in the future, man. Like a, a year from now, I'm looking back at this video and see what else they added. I don't know, man. As far as I'm concerned, this dude's probably going to add like a freaking a Binance store where they only take crypto physical stores. Imagine that. Yo, I'm, I'm calling it right now. CZ. Write me down as a like, little uh, sub -sub subsidiary on that. You make like 1% of the profits just for making that up. Anyways. Thanks for watching my video, guys. <laughs> I appreciate you for staying all the way to the end. Uh, and let me know in the comments below, do you guys think that Binance will end up taking over the world and pretty much owning everything? Uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.